Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can consolidate multiple rows of data and remove blank cells. I'm Ashish Mathur and for further solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what my data looks like. I have a simple four column data set with responders listed down column A and one column each for questions one, two, and three. Now, as you can observe down the responder column, one responder appears multiple times. Uh, so what you'll actually see over here is that for the same responder over here, some rows are entirely blank and the same one is for the next one as well. Some rows are entirely blank over here. Furthermore, for the different questions that they answered, the responses do not all appear in the same row. This responder answered a no for question three and the very same responder gave an answer of both for question two. So instead of them appearing in the same row, it actually appears one row below and the same happens here as well. Now I'd like to actually do two things on this data set. First and foremost, I, get, I want to get rid of all these blank rows that I see over here. And next for every responder, I'd like to show all responses only appearing in one single row. So my expected data layout should actually look like this, wherein I have all unique responders over here, my questions stated above, and all responses for that particular responder appearing in the same row of data. Now I've been able to solve this problem using Microsoft Power Query. So here's what I did. I selected the data set over here and uh, I went to Power Query. I said Excel data from table. Where is the data? K1 to D14, my table has headers. I click on OK. And uh, once the data comes as this, what I now want to do is, let's first get rid of these blank rows. Now, a simple trick I can use over there is, I select here, Shift, select this column here, transform, and I can unpivot my columns. Notice the moment I unpivot, I actually get rid of the blank rows automatically. Now what I need to do is get these back as column labels, um, questions one, two, and three over here. So if I were to go select any one cell, transform, and now pivot my column, use the names of the column attribute to create new columns. So that's the attribute column, which should be utilized for creating my new columns. For the value section, I want to pick up the value from the value column and aggregate value function here should be don't aggregate. When I click on OK, I get my desired data structure, but for one small change that I want to make here, you'll notice in the column labels, you'll find question three, question two, and question one. I want this to be one, two, and three instead. So what I could do is I could delete my previous step, select over here, home, do a A to Z sort, and now transform, I can pivot my column, value column, advanced options, don't aggregate, click on OK. Now that I've got what I wanted, I can give it a meaningful name. Let's say merged data. Under home, I can simply say close and load. And once I do so, in the right hand side pane, I get to, I get to see two rows loaded and I get my desired data structure. And the best part about using Power Query is that um, this data is refreshable. So which means that if I go to my base data and add further rows of data, or if I change anything in my existing data set, all I need to do is right click here and refresh. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.